guys, as you guys have seen, I just recently competed in a powerlifting competition and I PR'd on my bench 380 pounds. That's 40 pounds on top of my bench PR from the exact same meet from last year. So I benched 340 in 2015. This year I benched 380 in competition. And even four weeks before that, I benched 391 in the gym with competition plates. So as you guys know, Omar and Silent Mike have been helping me with my meat prep and programming and increasing my bench has been something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. I've tried all kinds of programs, everything underneath the sun. And what I feel like what we've come up with is probably the most effective and efficient program out there. I'm not a full-time athlete. I do a bunch of JK comedy bullshit. I vlog, I do all that stuff and you see it. And so I have to use my time wisely when I train, which is why, because since you guys want it, I wanna give you guys this free program and it's in the description below, increase your bench press Dot com and I want to see how you guys do on this program and after we tried all kinds of stuff the three most effective accessories in my opinion for the bench press are the close grip floor press and also JM press what I really like about the close grip is that it really helps with speed off the chest and you're able to load your triceps so when you're just benching in the gym and you're doing touch and go a lot of the times when you're firing you're firing your shoulders your chest and your triceps at the same time in a meet you have to load and pause the weight on your chest. So your main moving muscle groups are gonna be your triceps. So triceps are very important for off the chest speed. Then what's really important to me is floor press. So floor press helps with lockout. And as you're benching, everyone always tells you to keep your elbow underneath the bar, but there is a point in time where the elbow is next to your body and it has to flare out just a little bit. And that's a weak point for a lot of people. So what I like about the floor press is it already puts you in a weakened position and you have to maintain that elbow position as you're locking out. So that's something that you can train and increase weight over time and you can get more effective at keeping your elbow where it needs to be. Finally, with the JM press, what I really like about this, and this is very difficult actually, the JM press is a mixture between a skull crusher and a close grip bench, in my opinion, and it heavily, heavily targets the triceps. It almost feels like someone's raping you in the elbow right here. You'll feel like your insertion's on fire. And what I really like about this too is because when you're bench pressing and you have to pause in competition, you can't pause using just your chest or just your shoulders. You have to use a mixture of all three and your triceps is a muscle group that can take a load for a long time. Like you'll see people bench, their elbows flare out, and if they're trying to grind for a long time, you'll see them tear a pec. But you rarely, rarely see people tear triceps, which is why you have to increase your tricep strength if you want to increase your bench press. After watching a meet video from last year in 2015, I was breaking down my bench form and I realized that there are some weaknesses I needed to work on. So one of them is the elbow movement, keeping it underneath the bar and my lockout. And so if you see now, my lockout is actually one of my strengths. So it's really important for me to figure out what the weaknesses are on the bench and turn them into strengths. And so a good time to implement these accessories is at the beginning of a strength cycle where you're just building out overall strength. So keep in mind that this free program is a peaking cycle, which means it's all about specificity and you only get better at the things that you practice. And because when you're testing your bench press, you're not testing a floor press, you're not testing a close grip bench, you're not testing a JM press, there's a lot of sports specificity in this free bench press program. Those are my three favorite bench accessories and I just wanted to give you guys this program, just give it back to the community, show you guys our support and the percentages in here are amazing. Silent Mike, Omar and I, we've done a lot of research and we know this really, really works. So after you guys try it, I want you guys to leave in the comments and let us know how it feels and how much you've increased on your bench press. Make sure you get the free bench press program at increaseyourbenchpress.com in the description below. Peace.